This is Chilean salmon. Um, a lot of customers use this for cooking, but we can still use for sushi and farm raised. Yes. And then this one is Scottish salmon. It's very popular in Miami. Uh, a lot of restaurants use for sushi sashimi. Right. And then this is the actually best. Uh, it's kind of like salmon, still had trout. Uh, it's farm raised in Scotland. Okay. And the color is more uh, like orangish, uh, like vivid, and the taste uh, milky and nice. Okay. So this is the best one. So there's the best one. Yeah. And that comes whole, right? Yes. Whole. And the other two are filet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now we are coming to another, well, second favorite place. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's well, surprisingly right. good though. Yeah. I don't know favorite, but yeah, really good products. Last time we came in here for uh, tuna. For tuna. Exactly the same location. Yes. Now we're going to get some salmon mm. and see what we can find for sashimi and sushi quality. Mm. And we're going to explain to you later on what you can eat, what you can't eat. Right, right. We have uh, several salmon. Just yeah. pick a look at this. They have a trout, steelhead trout. Wow, look at this. <laughs> it's not what we just bought, it's steelhead trout. Mm. This is fresh, never frozen. The price is ten sixty eight a pound. And then, um, farm uh, raised, right? Yes, yeah, farm raised, yeah. Basically, what we have. So, we want to find the cheaper stuff. Let's look at this one, the Atlantic salmon. Oh, this also still yeah. the color, as uh, Mijo said, it is light. It's a little bit more orange. Okay, so this is a seven eighty four pound. This is what we're looking for here. Let's try this one. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take this much, or you want to you want to take a little smaller? A oh, smaller one? Yeah, we can do smaller. We have okay, so. a plenty. That's true. Already, so. Very very true. Uh, this is um, ten twenty four pounds. A little bit more expensive. Probably of Norway. Oh, here, Osan, the last hey, place. Last okay. place we came in for to buy the salmon at the Whole Foods. At Whole Foods, yep. Take a look and see what quality they have here. Farm raised Atlantic salmon fillet. This is an individual package? Yeah. Yeah, it's good, girl. The salmon for months. Actually, it's gonna be good for your diet, too. Uh, the color's already off, you know? Wild caught yellowfin tuna. Actually, you should be able to eat it raw, but I'm not too fond of that color. All right, hero. Got some uh, Atlantic salmon already here. This is a uh, $9.99 a pound. This is from Norway. Yeah, it's a uh, fresh farm raised. It says it on top right here. You see it? Yeah. So I think this is the one, hero. Hirosan, we are back in the studio. Yes. We got, again, salmon for days, weeks, for a long, long time. Yeah, we, we go, go for maybe three weeks. Yeah, right? Depending on how much salmon you really like. All right, here, let's go through what we bought. Yeah? Okay. All right, the first one here, let's look at this. This is from Walmart. It is wild-caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. Total price was nine forty-six. We saved a little money, $2.67. Here's another one. This is farm raised from Walmart, Atlantic Salmon. This is $10.65. Price per pound was $10.24. And moving over here, we have the Whole Foods. Whole Foods here, this is also Atlantic Salmon. This is just about $10 a pound. And here, this is interesting. This is also farm raised. Comes in eight pieces. And it's about $20 for eight pieces. So it's roughly about $10 a pound. This is actually 32 ounces in weight. And now we're moving on to some really beautiful fish here. First one we have here, this Scottish salmon. Yes. That was really, really nice. That was actually $9.50 a pound. And right below it is the Chilean salmon. Mm -hmm. And that was actually $6.50 a pound. $3 difference. And last but not least, we have this steelhead trout. Very similar to the salmon family. And ho, oh, this was actually $7.95 a pound. And out of uh, all these salmon here, I can tell you the brightest color mm. is, of course, the steelhead. Uh, the Scottish is also a very, yeah. very bright in color. And we can't really compare the wild Maybe caught. More red than red. Yeah, more red, yeah. but that's again, that's I, not farm raised. I have tried this one before. Mm -hmm. More, less fat. Less fat, yeah. Mm. You can tell it's very, very lean. Mm. Uh, the lightest color, of course, is we have here the Atlantic salmon. All three of them are very, very light in color. So, Hero, what's your favorite salmon that you've had before? Um, 
I think uh, to grill, I, uh, maybe I go for this one. Yeah, I agree. You know, well, of course, uh, I'm not going to eat this one by sashimi or sushi. Right, absolutely. Uh, anyway, not. if this fish is very, very fresh, okay, once you need to go frozen and, and defrost, then you're okay for yeah. this one, wide cup. So, but also these two di these things is uh, between different price because of the, this is actually, uh, this is we buy from the Walmart and the shop. Yeah. This is uh, we purchase from the wholesale. Yeah. And also this is uh, come with a hole. So we fillet ourselves. Right. So it's a little bit different uh, price too. So we really cannot compare the price wise because of the, the buy from a shop or wholesale. And a wholesale, that's, that's true. It's a different. Yeah. Okay? yeah. And uh, still help if you buy fillet, probably they want to charge a little bit more. Oh yeah, yeah, right? of course. This so is uh, seven ninety five yeah. pound. Lot Pri have. Price is not really comparing for this moment. Just really about the quality. Yeah, quality. Any of this fish you can actually eat raw, and even it's farm raised, and you can certify that parasite feed was fed to it. It doesn't have to be frozen prior, and you guys can look that up. This is what uh, we've been working under under the Florida Department mm -hmm. of Regulation. And that's what the rules are. Yeah. So, except for this one, everything yeah. is actually farm raised. Exactly. The only thing is uh, how you know compare even uh, farm raised, but uh, of course how fresh it is. You know, mm -hmm. you wanna eat. Uh, I can. Uh, I'm gonna open up. Then I'm gonna show you more. But you wanna eat this one by sashimi, or <laughs> you wanna eat this one by sashimi? Right. But you can tell, eh? Okay. So that's why. Palm raise, you can eat by raw, but uh, you need to see how fresh it is. Right. Freshness is most important. Exactly. Let's see, this is the best from the best. juice. Yeah, out of everyone, I don't know if I want to eat this raw hero. Not of that water coming out of it. Mm -hmm. This is a salt date of 6.23. So that's about a week from now. Okay, let me check with the <laughs> check by smell. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see. This Smell is a st still head. Mm -hmm. Still fresh. I don't smell any fishy. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. This is a frozen one. The frozen from Whole Foods. Yes. Ten dollars a pound. Okay, this is good. How's that one? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. No, no fish at all. This is a little bit different smell. It's, it's not a fishy fishy, but a little bit different smell. Okay. You can tell. And then this is a uh, Walmart, right? Yeah, Walmart. Walmart. This is already I can smell a little fishy. Let's see, let me smell. Oh yeah, that's a very strong fishy smell, this one. Very, very strong. I definitely would not want to eat that raw. Let's check this one out. Whole Foods is good. Let me try this um, Walmart, but this is a different kind of salmon, like you said. You can smell a little yeah, different smell, right? different, yeah. It's not a fishy, but different. It's not a fishy it's difference in smell. Not over this, the yeah, smell of this one. Like it's from different kind of water. Right. And uh, this one is only one in question. And this is actually no smell in this one here. So this is also farm-raised Atlantic salmon, frozen from Whole Foods. Right. So, Hero, if it's up to me, I'll be honest with you. 
Uh, I could eat this, and I could eat all these four. This yeah. one, of course, I want. This is shouldn't do. Shouldn't. Yeah. It's a wild it's call, a wild right? call. Yeah, it's not yeah. do that. So I don't know. This is a store I want to get frozen or not. You know. That's yeah. A question. Is, is there anything they tell any somewhere? Uh, usually they say never frozen because that's how Walmart advertises their fish. Okay. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, better better frozen ones if you want to eat the bite. Yeah, roll. if you guys want to eat that, yeah. Then. But but uh, I'm not recommended this three still yeah. compared with this. Right. Right. Well, right. you can't compare it for sure. You and know. And this one definitely, I I'm, I'm not going to eat to eat to. For myself, to be honest with you, this has no smell. I don't mind eating this undercooked, even raw. I don't have a problem because mm. of course it's farm raised. Uh, and it's frozen, and it's been frozen yeah, for this, a while. This, this, this maybe five is okay. Yeah, yeah. You can do. Okay, let's do it here. Okay. So let's make a beautiful the, sashimi cut, plate. Cut by little by little, right? Okay. okay. Let's try. Are you excited, Hero? Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Look at this you you want to try the baby side, or you want to top? And, uh, let's do uh, either way, whatever you like. Yeah, I, I want to cut anyway, yeah, one, one by one. How beautiful that meat looks, Hero. You just, I'm gonna just keep this one still, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a... Uh... Okay, a lot of people actually complain about the this brown spot. You can this eat from it. from the skin, yeah, it's not a big deal, right? You know, a lot of people, and uh, people complain about this one too. That's the fatty part. Yeah, it's actually skin. good parts. Just cut two hole on the belly, two hole on the back. And uh, Scottish. This is super thick, so. Yeah, like you said, the flay is very, very thick. Mm. What a beautiful piece of fish, you know. Yeah, Gorgeous. but anyway, I want to huh? take out from the skin. Wow. This one, once you cut, you can tell. The meat is really... Uh, more Just like looking at it, this looks like my favorite already, you know? Mm. Wow, nice, right? Steel head here. Yep, steel head. This is a uh, Scottish. Yeah. And uh, chili. I'll cut a little bit bigger so you can tell okay. this is a chili. And this is a frozen. Yeah, frozen one. From the uh, Whole Foods, Atlantic Salmon. Food.
Okay, that's it, Hero. Yep. And we're going to take a pass on the wild cards. And the one that's from Walmart. Because of a, a certain smell, it's really fishy. All right, Hero, now we have everything plated. Let's go through this one last time. Mm -hmm. Here's some different kind of salt here to have with the salmon, which is actually very, very good. My favorite looking at it, of course, is the one that we saw earlier. The steelhead Still trout. Mm -hmm. Next in line is, of course, the yeah, this, uh, Scottish salmon. salmon. This is the farm-raised Chile. Chilean salmon. We have the Atlantic farm-raised from Whole Foods that was frozen. Mm -hmm. And this is from Whole Foods and it's fresh. Right. Okay, Hero. Okay. Uh, which way are you going to go? I go <laughs> top uh, to bottom or bottom uh, to top? Yeah, top to down. Top to down? Okay. All right. I'll follow you. Okay. Enjoy. You can tell very so meat is very soft. Very soft? Mm. Mm. How's it taste? This is very well let me take a in the berry side also. Mmm. Wow, delicious. Mm. Exactly what you'd expect from a piece of salmon. Right. And kind of weird to say that way. I mean, this is all salmon, but just the fact that it's the quality is so high. If you compare with uh, this salmon with the... Mm. Uh, wow. Uh, we wait to uh, the California, actually, from the New Zealand salmon. Mm. Little similarity, right? Mm-hmm. Excellent. Okay, so I want mm. to try this one for now. Okay. There's also also Scottish. Well, this is Scottish salmon. Mm. This is not bad. Good, but um. Uh, this For me, it's not as flavorful. Yeah, I mean, this excellent. one has a more uh, stronger, right? Yeah, yeah, stronger salmon flavor. And again, that doesn't mean it's fishy tasting, just the flavor itself. This is, um, flavor is not as strong, but still very, very good, very fresh. Mm hmm. This one, you can feel this uh, white stuff, right? When you mm -hmm. bite. Yeah, the fatty part. Yeah. Which this one had less, mm. I thought, you know. Okay, Hero, Chilean salmon. Yeah. This is the back part and the very side of the same. Okay. This one compares with this two mm -hmm. and the perspective and how. Yeah. The texture is kind of, uh, when you eat, real, how they call it, softness coming to the mouth. Right? Yeah. Same as like a this similarity. Yeah. But uh, the meat itself is more like this one too. Right. This I enjoyed. This one I also enjoyed. Mm. Yeah, very similar in terms of taste. Not as much, not that strong in the salmon flavor. Mm. Mm. So, go to frozen. Mm hmm. This one similar mm -hmm. texture and the uh, taste. Mm. This one has a little bit less of the fat, though. You see it? Mm. It looks leaner compared to this one. 
Yeah, it just has more. It has more fat, right, between the, the tissue of the, the meat. All right here with the last one. Yeah. <laughs> mm. This, by the way, is a little chewy. I don't know why. Mm. And more of an aftertaste for the fish. And a little bit, little bit chewy. Maybe it's just a part of the fish. Mm. This is Whole Foods. That was fresh. Pre-packaged. How's it here? Also Atlantic salmon. One more I'm going to try. I'll go. It'll taste too different, I feel. Mm, much more fattier. I taste a lot of fat in there. Also, another aftertaste. I don't know what that is. You can feel aftertaste, right? Yeah, right. You got it too. How? How? Uh, it's I'm gonna say something weird. It almost tastes like some kind of coffee. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I have no idea what to say this one. This is for <laughs> taste. I don't know why it's so weird. I mean, you can tell, right? There's an aftertaste of this. Let me try one more piece. But maybe cinnamon, you know, so strange. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right? Cinnamon makes sense, right? I didn't know how to describe it. I mean, there shouldn't be any cinnamon on here, but there's a little maybe bit of an aftertaste. They put the, when, when they did the fill it up, maybe cinnamon. <laughs> this is a much, much fattier fish. Mm. But kind I, of, I, after taste, I don't like. Yeah, yeah, it has an aftertaste that none of the other fish had. Which is kind of strange. And um, my favorite, I have to say, is these top three. Are, my favorite, of course, was the yeah, still Steelhead one. Trout. Number one. Excellent, excellent. The taste of that, a lot of very deep salmon flavor. Mm. This Steelhead Salmon Hero was less fatty of them mm. all. And I tasted a lot of the salmon flavor. Whereas these two here, uh, the Chilean and also the Scottish. Actually, this one was also very, very good. Um, not as fatty as that one here, but they're also very, very good. Um, these two, actually these three had a lot of fatty content in it, a lot of fat content. It doesn't look like it, but for me it was kind of chewy and kind of fatty. But Here it was such a great time eating so much salmon. I think for me, honestly, mm -hmm. I would eat this one. Even though it's got a lot of kind of chewy or kind of fatty content, mm. I don't mind. If I wanted some, some raw salmon, I would eat this. Of course, there's no question regarding the the three from True World, mm. any day of the week. Um, I don't think I would have the last one here. It has that aftertaste from Whole Foods. Also, I don't know what it is. Maybe mm. when they're packaging the fish, there's other fish around there. It's yeah. a possibility, you know? The last one talking about the um, come with a pack. Yeah. That p p piece is uh, not, not, not so good. Not yeah, so good. yeah, yeah. Maybe other parts was maybe it might be better, you know, we don't know. So that's why, how many how many have you seen in the store, you know? Right, yeah. and what other fish is there? Yeah. I mean, the one that was frozen in the in, in the individual frozen pieces, that was right from the the manufacturer, and there's no other fish there around that. I just I just don't know what it is with this fish. I mean, it wasn't tasting bad; it just had an aftertaste that none of the others had. So, well, there you have it, guys. If you can find fresh farm salmon, enjoy it. You can have it sashimi style. Just confirm what was fed to the fish. Make sure it's parasite free and then uh, enjoy it. You don't have to freeze it before it's eaten raw. We never did at the restaurant, and that's one type of fish that you don't have to, to treat it for parasites. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, share it, don't forget to subscribe, and give us more ideas what you want to see done. Mm -hmm. Here, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.